Ladies and gentlemen, Konnichiwa, and that's a car. What the hell? And that rhymed. <laughs> Welcome back to episode. Official episode one of my Genon Gaijin review series. Hideo, yes. Apologies, the setup is still going to be. It's going to be a while before we get a, a proper setup here. So, in my episode zero, we looked at the Kamen Rider Kaliwa Henshin item. And an item for Kamen Rider Blades. Yes, so there'll be a link somewhere in the description or the playlist or in the top corner, wherever I end up putting it. And you can see we have a diff we have a slightly different layout here. We have the Lupin Mecha here, we have the Pata Ranger Mecha here, both Sentai Super Sentai items, and over there still we have the Breaking Mammoth mech from Zeta One with Evolve from Kamen Rider Build. So this will change periodically depending on stuff. So today we will be looking at another Kamen Rider Saber item. And we're going to be looking at this one. This is the Genbu Shinwa Wanderai's book which we will put down here, which goes with Kamen Rider Buster's weapon. I, sadly, I don't have the box for this one. So this is a nice, fancy, fancy big weapon. You can see that? It's actually the largest one of the set. And this is called the Dogoken Gekido DX weapon. You can see it's very nice, very pretty greys, the metallic silvers, are very nice, very nicely detailed. Here we have two sets of speakers. So this is the speaker for the actual weapon. And this is the speaker for the one that I book slot, which was here. So here we have a trigger, nice orange colours, the blade itself is quite nice. Very soft plastic as well. Now in the show this is like double the size. Which is quite nice. But there is an issue I have with the show which I'll talk about in a different video. Generally just do with this spot. But as you can see here we have a nice reflective material. It is Buster's uh, helmet. Which is a thing in all of the the items, which is quite nice. So, what sense does this make? Well, by itself, not that much. We have the trigger. We've already pulled the the tab out. So one pull, one pull. And much like the caliber weapon, you can rapid fire. Nothing will happen. As you can see, this pushes that here, which we'll look at in a moment. So, to be fair, this is one of my favourite weapons of the series. Mainly just because of it's a giant sword. And it's the one that has the least problems, I would say. So, let's head over as I just sort of shift my position there. So, again... Nice silver, nice metallic silver. We have a picture of, if we focus, a giant turtle with a snake. This is apparently Chinese, I believe. Not 100% sure. So we can press the button once. Okay. And then open. You can see big turtle. And awesome. So, so in order to do the engine, we press the button and set it into the slot like this. Make sure it clicks.
Hey, Chili. So that's the henshin. Again, pull the trigger, nothing really changes. So I'll do the special attack, the finisher attack. Close the book. Pressing here to unlock it. If we look here, this is this is where these weapons get it, this weapon gets it right. And you'll see in the next video that the other weapon gets it wrong so let's turn around so let's see here we've got some buttons we want to slide it into this slot here Very cool. So that is that's basically the, fu the full functionality of this weapon. It's great. I, I love it. It's nice and simple. Again, the detailing on it is fantastic. We got the nice the screws looking really cool there. We've got the fine details here, the writing. And this is actually really good because I want to I'm actually going to like, customize this to actually be show size. So I'm actually going to extend this part out in the future. So that will actually be kind of fun to do. So let's remove this. Let's bring in the uh, sword riser. Sword driver, sorry. Sword riser. That's a different series entirely. So again, we're just going to use the Sabre logo here. Let's remove that first. And... Turn it on. Okay. And set. Sadly, I don't have a box, uh, like something to hold this up yet. I will be getting one. So again, much like the caliber driver, this sets in the first slot. Caliber driver. The caliber book. Sorry. Still early in the morning for me. So we set this in the first slot, like so, and pinch it. Again, yeah, that's actually the biggest problem I have. I'll do finish this off. Thank you. Yeah, it's the biggest issue I have with this, like with this ability, is pushing it against the this part here because I feel like it's it might damage the books a little bit. You can probably see it a little bit better. So we have this part here. This actually helps the the books open when you pull the trigger, basically. But it could be a little bit 
firm, so it, I think it damages the box a little bit. So that is roughly put things in the box that back in. The Carbon Rider Buster Wonder Eyes book and sword as we knock it down. So overall, this is the best non-henshin item that is currently out. There is another one coming out very soon that is Carbon Rider Slash whose weapon is like a, a sword that turns into a gun, I think, from what we've seen. He debuts this weekend, the 1st of November, yes, on um, Japanese TV at 9 o'clock. I'll be watching it, and maybe I'll give you my thoughts next week. But for now, this is... The gentleman guiding saying goodbye and be well. And like I said, there'll be another video coming up very soon of the next item. I'll quickly show you, which is this as everything falls down on the floor behind me. This is Kamen Kenzan's weapon. So we shall see. So until next time, folks, take care and thank you very much.